All right, so for any business owner, the ultimate goal is growth, right? Scaling up your business. But it's important to know what steps to take. Entrepreneur and author of How I Help Scale My Man's Business to Eight Figures, Asia Varner joins us now to share some essential hacks. Thank you so much Morning. for being here. <laughs> so I want to get into your backstory in just a minute because it is an amazing one. But yeah, you guys are young and you have done really well. You kind of turned your whole life around. Yeah. How do you start telling people how to do that? It all starts with mindset. I would okay. definitely say that. So a lot of people like to say, okay, I'm a product of my environment, but we also don't want to take accountability for ourselves. Okay, we have access to a lot of things that we can learn. We have YouTube, Instagram, social media platforms. Everybody is giving out game. Everybody's giving out tips. Yeah. So we now have access to a lot more than we used to have access to. Right. Mm -hmm. So in this day and time, I feel like it's a little bit easier to get yourself back up to be more financially literate than it used to be. So yeah, yeah that's pretty much what it is. Mindset to keep going, to do your research mm -hmm. for yourself. Don't let people just tell you anything. Make sure you figure out exactly what it is before you just run off with it. Yeah, oh. and, and mm -hmm. avoid those gatekeepers because yes. there are those people who want to keep keep you know success to themselves right. and not help you yeah they only give you a little bit yeah. a little sprinkle and then yeah so, okay bye-bye <laughs> so what, what do you actually do what is your business so basically I work with my husband he has honey drip network shout out to them okay <laughs> option trading so yeah um, I help him with his business I do most of all of the groundwork so um, the courses the websites the um, flyers and things like that so the bulk of the finances that's pretty much me but he's the face so I leave the face <laughs> to him Damn, yeah. so yeah I'm basically everything behind the closed doors oh, yeah. nice. what makes your story so interesting is you from Georgia mm -hmm. um, did not grow up with any money no um, not at all. but you worked your butt off to get there yes so basically with that um, I remember times so I grew up in a single wide trailer so 18 years of my life didn't go anywhere like this is what I knew I go outside oh. I can howl with the wolves and they'll literally howl back like <laughs> it's really really country so uh, with that being said, um, I just knew that I didn't have the financial support to go to college. So if I wanted to go to school, if I wanted to get out of that environment, I had to study. I had to make sure I was top of my class. So that's what I did. I got a 4.0. I graduated as valedictorian in my class. 15 students, yes, very small. <laughs> yeah. but, but I managed to do that yes. to get scholarships so I could go to college because that was the only way I knew I, I could get out of there. Mm -hmm. So Yeah, and so to me, that's the highlight of the story is the fact yeah. that you didn't just become successful when you met your husband and right. helped him. You are already, you know, yeah. on a path to be successful. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. Most definitely. So what did you do to help the business sort of um, elevate and grow? What, what skills did you apply to help so, him be even more successful? Okay, so originally I went to college for psychology, but during that time I took a website building class. Now, little did I know, I didn't know that I was going to use website building to incorporate into the business. Yeah. So I ended up using website building. Um, mine's is more so trial and error. So I was hands on learning how to do flyers, learning how to edit videos, wow. um, learning how to manage money. Like I'm on the ground running, trying to figure out how to manage his DMs and customer service. Mm -hmm. Like wow. it was all hands on. So initially, yes, I went to school for psychology, but all of this other work that I learned how to do, it's like, oh, wow. Okay. It took years. Yeah, right. <laughs> but I am at the standpoint now where everything is like clockwork, yes. going, 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 learning email marketing, SMS marketing, everything. So it's a book of just trying and figuring it out and just putting your hands in there, getting a little dirty. Get a little dirty. You mess up, okay, cool, try it again. Just figure out your systems. Fig yeah. Just keep going, figuring out those systems. And your, and your book, it, it's really for every business. Now your it's husband's in business. finance and you guys work in finance, but it mm -hmm. goes across the board, correct? Yes, across the board. So my book is initially built for every single business that is out here. Everything that I put in there, you're going to see it in the business. SMS marketing, of course, people are going to send out those text messages. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Email marketing, they're going to be sending out those emails to keep intact with their customers. So all of those key things that a lot of people do, especially video editing, who's going to edit this new channel? You get what I mean? Yeah. So it's things like that that are key essentials to any business and you're going to see it in this book and I outline it. I give you three free courses in it. I tell you everything that you need to know from the ground up to start your business. Wow. So yeah. when do you have time? Because you have two kids, right? I do. <laughs> I have two, two little ones. Yeah. But they motivate you, I'm sure, right? They to go do. farther. Yeah. They're so cute and adorable. Yeah, oh, they yeah. are the first couple of years. But yeah, they do. Um, I get a lot of help. I will say that's key. You have to have help. You have to have people behind you. You have to have people that are supporting you. Understand, yes, you have a bu busy lifestyle and that, hey, you know, if you need this break, I'm going to give you this break to allow you to keep going and keep growing in your business. We've only yeah. got a couple seconds left. Mm -hmm. One quick tip for anybody out there who is just starting in their business. 
Collect data. Do not rely on social media. Do not rely on just the following that you have. Collect the data. Get their emails. Get their first and last names. Get their phone numbers. That is key because if social media ever shuts down, how are you going to contact them? Oh. Keep your data, okay? Collect all the data that you can. Love That's that. a great tip. Do your homework. Yeah. Yes. yes. Thank you for joining <laughs> Thank us. Thank you. Thank you for having me.